lovely people, I hope you are doing very well. This is Shamil Ahmed and you are all welcome to my new lesson. Today we are going to learn in how many ways we can use different words instead of yes. How do you feel listening same word in every day and every single time? Such as if I ask to someone, can I have your pen for one minute to reply yes. Can I have some water? Yes. Can you go outside for me? Yes. Can you bring me a glass of juice? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Every single time, yes. But sure, you feel bored. Now, this is time to change instead of yes. Instead of yes, we can use many words. So, no more talking. Let's have a look what have been written in the board. First of all, we can see the various ways to say yes. It means there is a different way we can say yes. And now we need to know when, where and how we can use different words instead of yes. Of course, first number, four, number one, there is a written to a request. In order to request, we can use these words. For Of course, sure, I can, no problem, no issues. Any one of words we can use instead of yes. For example, suppose I am in office, my boss is asking me, can you submit this project by this week? I can reply, of course, or sure, I can instead of yes. But I could say yes, but I don't want to say yes. I want to say, of course, sure, I can. In this way, anyone can use for, you know, the, for replying. So this is not very hard for you, but if you try, so you can get the variation while speaking to someone. But nowadays, when you listen, yes, yes, but you can recon that, but lack of something. So that's why now this is time you should say different words instead of yes. So one more example for no problem, no issues. Suppose with the colleague, if I get the help from my colleague, so I can say, hey, Mr. Karim, can you help me? In reply, Mr. Karim can say, no problem, no issues, even if he is available to help you or me. In this way, he can say, no problem, no issues, but instead of yes. All right, now moves on to, to offer, to an offer. In offer, we can use this word, I would love that instead of yes, and how, where, and where. Suppose my friend has one ticket to watch movie at cinema hall. If he can offer me or you, are you able to go with me to watch movie? I can reply, I would love that. It means yes, I can go with you. I love that. I would love that. It means yes. Instead of yes, you can use this word. Number three, expressing agreement. In order to agreement, we can use these words, sure was, I hear you, definitely, absolutely. For example, end of the week, when we are talking about last week, if you agree, yes, last week was absolutely busy for me. I could not spend with my family. In order to agreement, I can, or you can say, Sure was, it's mean last was, last week was very busy for me. It's mean yes, you agree. Another one you can, you know, someone talking over the phone, are you able to come tomorrow? 
at my office, you can reply, yes, sure, I hear you, it means I can come to meet with you at your office. So it means yes, I can hear you, you can use yes. So next one, definitely, absolutely, any one word you can use to order to agreement everywhere at any situation in 24 hours in a day. So last one is slang terms. Slang terms is really informal. Informal. So these are what can be used amid teenager and families. These are words. Let's have a look for sure. It's mean. This is the phrase word. It's mean yes. For sure. I can do. It's mean. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are what same expressing you can use with our family members and friends. So I hope you have little understand. But if you feel these are good, so as of now, you can start instead of yes. These are words.